Hello, everyone. I must welcome you all to the webinar series, The B School Insider, all you need to know about your dream school. And I'm your host, Kalyani, for this series. So today we will be focusing on MICA Ahmedabad prep journey, campus life, academics, and placement. So the key points that we'll be discussing in this session, we'll be talking about the MICAT and interview tips, uh, the selection process at MICA, the prep journey of the panelists who have joined us today, why choose MICA for marketing, infrastructure and faculty at MICA, placement trends, and some glimpses from the MICA campus. So let's welcome our speakers today. We have Nupur Vasavara. Uh, she is from 2025 batch. We have Bharat Mota also from 2025 batch. We have Karthik Ajay also from 2025 batch. We have Ayushi Dave from 2024 batch. And we have Vedang Krishnan from 2023 batch. And he's an account executive at Convosite. Uh, welcome all of you. And thank you so much for being here for this session. So let's start from the beginning. So uh, as you all, uh, the attendees, uh, most of them would be also uh, preparing for their MyCAT 2, which is in Jan. So let's start from your MyCAT prep uh, and also from CAT to MyCAT prep. And what are those things that you know one must keep in mind uh, in, while they are preparing for it? Uh, maybe one tip each. So, uh, and also your, uh, what was your undergraduation background? Um, and if you uh, had any work experience or you freshers when you uh, applied for MICA. So let's start from the current year. Uh, we'll start from Nupur, then we'll go to Bharat, then Karthik, then Ayushi, and then Vedang. Yeah, Nupur. Uh, yeah, so uh, my journey from CAD to, you know, my CAD. So uh, my tip on that will be, you know, a lot of things are already covered in CAD. So it's not that you have to go an extra mile in the, you know, the exam pattern wise. The, otherwise, you have to uh, you be creative in the written or the description uh, descriptive part. But, uh, and you know, the only thing that is very different in terms of CAD and my CAD is that you don't have a sectional cutoff. So... It is uh, one thing that you need to focus on your strengths and weaknesses. So if you think that you are good at verbal, you need to cover marks there. So that's what I did, at least. Uh, I knew that I am not that good at quant. At least the mic at quant was re really tough last time. So I knew that verbal is a strong section for me. So I concentrated there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And your undergraduate background and also uh, work experience and all that. Okay, so my undergraduation is a uh, BCom. It was a specialization in marketing, and uh, uh, I'm a fresher. Yes, I'm a fresher. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're a fresher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Next, Bharat. Yeah. Hi, Kalyani. Thank you, Kalyani and IMS India for providing this opportunity. So currently, I'm pursuing PGDMC from Mica. So I have recently completed my graduation uh, in BBA marketing. So I started my CAT prep prior to get like ninth month nine months earlier so if you are also preparing for my cat preparing well for cat will definitely will help you to ace my cat uh, because my cat have only few things new apart from cat which are descriptive sections psychometric sections and gk sections so if you are uh, reading well newspaper and are being updated by current affairs geopolitical news uh, then you are very good to go for gk section I would say, and for psychometric test, you have to be just be yourself, uh, give uh, various mocks which are available on IMS portal. Uh, you will, it will be very helpful for your psychometric test. And for descriptive section, I believe there is a story writing section where you have to show your creativity, where four images will come and you have to create a story. For that, uh, I use the technique. Uh, I will say it is a best hack uh, if anyone uses it. Uh, I didn't created the story from the four images, but I just read 10 to 15 stories and used their plot and fitted the four images in those stories. So yeah. you can, you have to just focus on your typing speed and you will excel in all, all sections. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll take those. There are two questions. We'll take those uh, after once, you know, all the intros are done. Yeah. Karthik. Hi everyone. Uh, so I come from a background of physiotherapy. So I graduated in 2020. I worked as a physio for six months and 
then I was working as a marketing consultant in, in a healthcare setting. So yeah, that that's the experience that made me understand. Okay, I think my job is one of the great options I can go for if I have to continue with this career. And uh, as for pre what prep is concerned, I uh, for me cons was a big issue because I hadn't studied maths after ten standard. So I focused a lot on cons, and I, I guess it was enough to get here. And uh, in terms of what I did differently for my cat, uh, I used to write some stories uh, when I was a kid and. Uh, I had a knack of uh, writing uh, generally, but what I have seen other peers do is they used to follow a, a structure. So one was the star structure where you uh, first identify the situation and then uh, go along that uh, framework. And another one uh, tip I could say, like Bharat had mentioned, read some stories and try to get those images incorporated in that story and go on with it. But uh, uh, a lot of it also depends on how much you are aware of, uh, you know, just uh, sto stories in general. Like, if you are someone who can think and who can uh, come up with ideas, then these four pictures are not going to be that difficult to come make a story with. And usually, people are done in ten minutes when it comes to making the writing the story. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ayushi. Uh, so I have an undergraduate degree in management studies. My specialization was human resources. And I worked for two years prior to coming here. I was at Nielsen. Uh, my MyCat experience was pretty good. I gave both the tests, you know, just in case oh, yeah. to <laughs> maximize my chances. And I think the main thing is focusing on the descriptive section. And the thing is, you will never know your scores for that. So the only thing you can do is practice, prepare, read a lot, know what you want to say. That's it. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah, Vedang. Yeah. So, hi, I'm Vedang. I graduated in 2023, and uh, my MyCat experience was actually pretty different from you guys. I was in the COVID years, I was giving MyCat. So, once actually I was literally sick, and I was after that, I won't be able to give MyCat. But yeah, uh, I cleared MyCat and uh, got into MyCat. The make or break is the descriptive section and you have to focus on it. Um, but one thing I would uh, tell people is that if you have to force creativity, uh, don't do that. Anything that you force is shit. So okay. that's the easy, simplest <laughs> yeah. thing that I can tell. Keep, be real, be yourself and go for it. Uh, as, as far as the cons and the verbal section is uh, concerned, uh, GK and verbal were my strong points. So I tackled those earlier and uh, went for wants later on. My cat one for me was easier. My cat two cons was like way out of bounds. Uh, geometry killed me. Okay. And uh, progressively over the years, what is happening is that my cat is getting tougher. For yeah, for Ayoshi, it was tougher. Okay. And for these three, it was hmm. even tougher. So yeah, I'll just be. Like, be mm. cautious. Yeah, because this time even cat has become tougher. Uh, the quant yeah. was really difficult. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, okay. So and also tell me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your your background. Yeah, so background. Yeah. I yeah. have my masters in analytical chemistry, mm. and was a fresher out of there. So fresh I shifted okay. from science to. Marketing. Yeah, marketing. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ayushi, you also uh, all of you took my cat one and my cat two. Is it or? No. Okay. Ayushi, was it, uh, was my cat one easier and my cat two difficult or is there like a major difference between the two in difficulty wise? The format is the same. The okay. difficulty depends on you. Matlab, okay. It uh -huh. depends on what you know, what you've studied, what you've prepared. Like, yeah. The tests are just tests. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take a few questions uh, regarding uh, test prep. Uh, should uh okay this is uh we'll be taking the that bit during the interview personal interview uh what kind of uh there were some questions right uh did we see some questions on scores yeah is there anything can can somebody okay for karthik uh, since you have a pcb background as me is it difficult to study mba curriculum uh and considering you have non-commerce background uh, personally, I didn't find it that difficult, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, there's a learning cur curve that's definitely mm -hmm. there, but uh, it's not something you can't do or learn. Like, all, all the subjects that do involve cons is, isn't something that I've found super challenging yet. And 
there are many, many other students with PCB background who have uh, excelled uh, in these subjects as well. Mm. So, I mean, the curriculum per se wasn't so tough that you really struggle and cannot comprehend uh, the cons or maths. Okay. Uh, uh, how to prepare GK for MyCAT? Any specific sources? Nupur, can you uh, take this question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, GK section is you know uh, basically much more business centric. So if you see like who's the CEO or who was in which company was in news prior to you know it's very recent news. So you don't have to go back and study a lot for that. It's very general if you know it. It is it consists of you know logos for companies and uh, you know some of the very basic questions. So I I generally wouldn't recommend that you focus a lot in the GK questions because. Uh, one thing that if, if you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, you don't know it. The, you know, the area to explore is just way too much. Mm. So my recommendation will be to still focus on the other sections because GK is something you can't really predict. Even if you read everything, it is still less. Mm. So, uh, uh, Bharat, this question is for you. Is MyCAT easy to clear for a student who has weak quantitative skills but great creative and verbal skills? I performed poor in the quant section of CAT recently, so that has shaken my confidence on whether should I attempt MyCAT exam or not. Yeah. So same was the case for me. I didn't had math in, in my 11th and 12th. So mm. for my CAT, I practiced a lot for quant. But mm. definitely you can ace the whole MyCAT if you are weak at any particular section. You can cover up those marks in other sections and descriptive sections also. So for me, it was, I just scored only one mark in my MyCAT quant. But okay. overall, I had 18.5 in my MyCAT because mm. of GK and LRDI section and verbal. So yes, uh, you can cover up your marks in other sections. And if you are having a score more than above of 10 or 12 in my cut. And if you have done good and descriptive, then I can say definitely you are getting a short list. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ayushi, can you answer this? Uh, do we need to complete all 150 questions in psychometry? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, it's it's a very important mm -hmm. section. It judges whether you are a fit for MICA or not based okay. on your personality. So complete everything. All the questions are compulsory. Okay. And is there any safe MyCAT score for MICA? Um, so there is no set score as okay. such. It depends on how everyone's done in that year in those tests. Okay. So it depends really. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about now the uh, personal interview as well as uh, and uh, at MICA, there is no GD, right? There is a GE, I believe, right? So yeah, so let's talk about your GE and your personal interview experience. What kind of things were given to you and how, and, and maybe yeah, one tip each uh, from all of you on both. Uh, so yeah, we can start from Karthik, then uh, Bharat, then Nupur, then Ayushi, then Vedang. Yeah, Karthik. Yeah, so your GE the, and your PI experience. Yeah. Yeah. So during the GE, what I noticed is that uh, there would be a lot of situa uh, situation pointers where you have to pick up and uh, participate. So just making sure that you're self, uh, you're very aware of what's happening, what your group is doing, and making everyone include and you know uh, include into the project that is going on. That's something that uh, helped me a lot. And another thing I would say is that uh, there will be a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, situations where someone may get a new idea uh, during the GE. So it, you shouldn't just brush that idea off because you don't have enough time or something. You should still give it uh, some thoughtful consideration and see if it can be implemented before, you know, brushing it off. This is something that uh, uh, I have noticed a lot of candidates who are qualified have suggested me, uh, you know, goes well. Then uh, in terms of PI, uh, I had prepared for PI based on what my experience was. And the questions that were asked were pretty straightforward there will be a lot of branding and uh idea related questions that will be asked so uh, i was asked questions based on my background and uh based on uh, all uh, my work ex as well but again in the end i was uh i i was asked a guesstimate on starbucks and why mm -hmm. what how starbucks can be better what change you would bring and this was because i had mentioned in my c uh not a cv they had given us a, a document mm -hmm. where we had to fit likes and dislikes and i had mentioned that i don't like cat pics mm. uh, so yeah so they asked wh what i would do to change starbucks to make it better so yeah there'll be a lot of questions based on what you have what based on the information you directly provide. 
Okay. Okay. And uh, so in GE, okay, Bharat, you are next. So in GE, is there any specific something that they are observing uh, in in the candidates as in like in GD, you know, uh, how how much can you put your points across and all that? And, the, you know, that's something that they are reading the candidate with. So for GE, is there anything, any parameters that they're looking at? What are they really, uh, you know, how are they judging? Yeah. yeah, Bharat, you can talk about that and then uh, you can talk about your experience. Yeah. yeah. So what I believe uh, in GE, what they look for, if you are a good team player or not, so uh, with team player, I mean to say, if you are uh, doing uh, well with your team, are you uh, listening other people's opinions? Are mm -hmm. you uh, providing them with good feedbacks or not? So in GE, I believe they look for this. And while performing your GE task, uh, I was given to, perf in my GE group, we were given uh, to perform a skit. So there are various instances where there will be gaps in the whole uh, script or skit so at that time you have to uh, uh, support the whole uh, drama or anything either they can say uh, tell you to present a rap song or a jingle or anything so just uh, don't be shy in performing anything uh, get spotlight on you uh, you will do well in ge uh, this was uh, this was done by me in my ge exercise so in pi i was all asked about my undergrad subjects like economics and marketing uh, majorly my uh, personal interview was around current affairs and some random trick questions like do you smoke do you have a tinder account like such questions so be ready for <laughs> such questions <Okay. laughs> uh, and i would recommend uh, every candidate to brush up concepts from marketing economics and finance either you are engineer or you are non-engineer because after all you are going to a b school so yes this will definitely help so uh, tell me uh, uh, such questions like about do you have a Tinder account and all. One is supposed to be honest about these questions, or one is supposed to be very diplomatic about these answering these questions because you know uh, based so on what, those they might. Hmm. Yes. So what I believe uh, by these questions, they are checking your wit and uh, how you answer the question. Uh, don't be neutral. Uh, I believe uh, in interview they check how much opinions do you have either it is uh, right or wrong uh, be on your point try to justify your point suppose if they will ask you about any economical policy so why do you find that policy wrong mm. so uh, be on the point why you find it and what course of action you should have taken something like that will help okay okay yeah ayushi this was a while back now <laughs> but uh, mm. my was focused around putting up a jingle where the trees were supposed to explain to the stock market why they should be saved. Okay. So it, it requires thinking. It requires mm. some amount of, you know, accepting other people's opinion, agreeing with them, putting your point forward. And honestly, as long as you're all collaborative rather than competitive, it should be fine. Because okay. Micah is not about, it's not, you shouldn't cut someone off, right? You have to give other people's ideas the same value as you do your own. And that is what the GE is all about. Okay. Mm. And your uh, PI, how was it? Uh, what kind of questions? Uh, your uh, Questions from your uh, job, in your work experience and all that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there was a bit about that. There was a bit about my background. There was a bit about why marketing, why MICA. Mm. They're mostly looking for a fit, right? So you have to be a fit for MICA and MICA has to be a fit for you. And that is what they're trying to judge in the PI. They're not interrogating you. They're just trying to find a good fit. And they're trying to ensure that, you know, you know what you're doing. You know why you want to get into marketing. It's not just a win. Okay. Yeah, Veda. Yeah, so you do well when your group does well is what I would say. Like simply okay. putting it, you have to showcase your talents and showcase the group's talent as a whole while a GE is going on. And do keep a track on the time because people do get tend to get carried away while like thinking and out, like while you are thinking and hearing everyone's thoughts uh do keep a track of time if you lose track of time you will not be able to present and that's a big no no mm. uh, coming to my pi uh, they'll try to intimidate you don't get mm. intimidated they are just trying to 
open you up and prod and prick and get some answers out of you and try to check if you are like you can think on your feet have a clear clear thought process so mm. like it's take a chill pill answer everything truthfully and don't i mean people do fake it and make it mm. but those are uh, far of you and uh, like be truthful is what i would say mm. in the pa yeah okay yeah uh, tell me something so now in g one has to do a lot of like you know they you might have to do something as an uh, sing a jingle or something and all that so tell me what if somebody is interested in marketing but is not exactly very comfortable uh, you know socially they were in a group in a new group <laughs> so uh, what any tips for them uh, nupur and ayushi can you guys take this question yeah uh, so basically uh, they are not looking for you know uh, obviously they know that not everyone is good at jingles or something mm. they they want to know your efforts mm. so okay. even if uh, so it's uh, while doing a jingle you need someone who has written the script while uh, someone who is performing it so they just want to know that if you're contributing enough in anything so i was uh, given uh, to you know make a chart paper like complete project sort of a thing or a business model or something like that okay. so i might not be very good at the financial as- aspect mm. whereas i was good at something else so mm. they just want to check if you are good at contributing in the perfect sector that you have chosen right. yeah okay okay yeah are you she want to add anything so like i said it's about collaboration you will find your role within the group exercise and you have to allow people to find their role also like one of the things that turns up is somebody just keeps track of the time and then they help you understand where you are how far along you have to move how much you have left to do you just have to you know keep people on track that is also something you can do so it's not about that's the- actually a hack that's actually a, there are some yeah. people who would just go for the time and do nothing Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. It can be true, but that is definitely like it's an important part of it. Ah, uh, okay. So just you have not to. Not everybody can be a timekeeper. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, everybody in there are ten people. Everybody is not keeping the time. Correct. Somebody has to give the ideas also. Hmm. So try to be you know who you are, and you'll find your fit. Okay. Uh, what were the G topics for you, uh, Karthik and Bharat? Remember? So for me, yeah. it was. chat gpt versus bard ai so ha okay. uh, we we have to show a wrestling match between chat gpt and a bard ai so we presented that <laughs> okay yeah that must have been fun <laughs> yeah karthik uh, my topic was how would a gen z uh, wake up to a day without electronics yeah okay. so, uh, so so gen z it basically woke up and none of the electronics are working no electricity nothing mm. so yeah so we had to depict how that would go so base and i was playing so so yes. there was an individual who was a, a gen z person and i was the bats i was portraying the bats side telling them to you know just don't do anything yeah. just sleep 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 basically mm. yeah so mm-hmm. so that that that's what we had to enact and we had to also give a moral of the story and of okay. course we also had one designated timekeeper in the ge mm. <laughs> and yeah. but i mean don't i mean i, I would say uh, give more pointers as well just Don't just keep time. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, if there is a question about how can one get disqualified from psychometric section, uh, so there needs to be some consistency in the uh, answer. So if you okay. are, uh, so basically, if you are saying that you are against violence, and uh, mm. so just giving an example, so if you are saying that you are against uh, violence, and then you are choosing your main character or your favorite character is someone who pushes <laughs> violence, so that is a data mm. asymmetry. Okay. So you need to focus on what you have answered previously, and I think uh, there are a lot of questions that will be repeated. So you need uh, to keep a track that yeah, okay. correct, consistent correct. about and, it. Correct. Uh, yeah. And, mm. uh, I think most of the questions uh, in psychometric are agree, not agree. So th- there are five levels uh, of these things that do not agree, agree, neutral, and strongly agree. Mm. So you need to keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, uh, Vedang, there is a question for you. Since you have graduated from Ica, could you tell uh, how you were able to pursue your personal interest after joining Ica, and if it helped you post Ica in any way? Okay. Uh. So yeah, the my interest. Basically, was... life after MBA. Basically, Ica. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my interests is quizzing. So that got me into Ica. Uh, I got a lot of friends in Ica due to quizzing. 
Mm. Uh, my core circle basically is all around quizzing. And uh, out of my car, I go to pub quizzes where I meet uh, my prospective, uh, I'm in sales right now. So I mm. try and meet a few people who uh, will help my business grow. So okay. <laughs> that's yeah. something mm. interesting about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll continue taking questions from the attendees, uh, but let's move to the next section, which is all about academics. Yeah. So, uh, Karthik and Rupu, you guys can talk about your, yeah, maybe your first few weeks, how it has been when you came to MICA, uh, right. how the academics and everything hits you, how right. difficult and how life is. So, the general, a typical day for yeah. a first year at okay. MICA. Yeah. 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 So for me, I'll say that when I entered my car and, you know, uh, the first two weeks are for orientation. So mm -hmm. I was, uh, you know, just trying to figure out people and you could actually see that all of them are from, you know, pretty diverse backgrounds. So it all instantly gets into your head that you're going to learn some really new things like peer learning is going to be amazing. And uh, talking about subjects, so uh, I think marketing is covered as a whole thing. So I talk to some people who are not from uh, MICA and they just say that, you know, marketing for them is, you know, Philip Kotler marketing management. Hmm. Uh, but that marketing management is just one course uh, in the first term. We have hmm. a, a, a lot of other subjects that cover marketing, which is psychology related or, uh, you know, marketing analytics. Hmm. So... Uh, Everything under the umbrella, you know, uh, marketing under an umbrella. It's like mm -hmm. that. You have got consumer behavior, strategic brand management, product management, everything you have got covered. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first year itself, we can actually, while we are doing our case comms and everything, we actually know that, uh, you know, okay, we have been taught this framework. We know what is semiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, semiotics is a study, which is, I don't think any other college takes up this course for marketing, which is yeah. very intricate, very intricate. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Karthik, uh, can you talk about like, you know, how uh, how the schedule is, how your timetable is? Basically, are you just like going from one class to another or do you guys get some amount of time to do other things too, as in play, maybe uh, go to, I don't know, some other yes. activities? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So typically our lectures start at 9.30 and it okay. goes on till 4.30. So there, there mm. are... So there's plenty of, plenty of time. time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, after that, I mean, uh, we usually have assignments or something to uh, some sort of pre reads for the next for the next day or something. But yeah, after I mean, all those things happen at night, like preparing mm. for the uh, uh, our next day. Or but yeah, we do get plenty of time to ha uh, hang around, chill, and uh, play play exercise mm. or uh, things like that. But, yeah, uh, but typically, uh, most B schools have got a lot of tests and all that as well. You know, along yes, with it, is, yeah, there, that, is it the same structure for my so for the first. It is the same structure. For the first two, three weeks, we did uh, get a bit uh, overwhelmed as in mm. how busy the schedule is. But after that, you just kind of learn to manage and cope with it. Uh, oh because you learn to manage your time well and uh, yeah. incorporate yeah, all the tests. And... So me and Karthik just gave a, a high five to each other at 3.30 in the morning. So it's like yeah. we are up there. So Micah mm. teaches you to stay awake till 4. It's okay. Very normal, very normal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ayushi, can you talk about the academic structure there at MICA and also uh, when you choose your electives, how do you do it? And is it why is it that MICA is the most sought after when it comes to marketing? Or one of the top ones, whenever anybody is actually thinking of pursuing marketing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'll go part wise. Yeah, yeah, yes. So yeah. the first thing is, uh, first year is generalized. It's not mm. just marketing. You also have fine arts. You have subjects from human resources. You look at business through all angles. Okay. At the end of the first year, you get the option to choose your specialization. Okay. Uh, Michael offers four specializations. Uh, there is digital marketing. Mm. Then there is advertisement and brand management. There is media and entertainment. And there is data analytics. So okay. currently I am pursuing media and entertainment mm. uh, because okay. it was my passion. Okay. I personally liked it. Mm. So within that arena, we are learning a lot about the different mediums of media, uh, like, you know, print, radio, television, and all of that. We are learning about how to cope with the new technologies that come in. We are learning about fandoms, community management, community building, and it's a lot of subjects. Right. Okay. Uh, as to why Micah is so sought after for yeah. marketing, it's mainly because there is an intense focus on the subject. 
like you are studying brand management you are studying advertisement you are studying strategic uh, decisions around marketing and it is comprehensive and it is exhaustive like it covers literally everything hmm. so and you won't get this much focus on one specialization anywhere else hmm. like myka is built for marketing so okay. yeah hmm. yeah uh, bharat uh, what do you like the most about myka i mean you are in the first year but like whatever as much as you have experienced it so far <laughs> so myka has a lush green environment means uh, in rainy season the campus becomes more beautiful mm. and uh, at campus we have more than 15 to 20 peacocks pea hen also so oh. uh, seeing the scenery while mm. we are at chota our canteen is oh. <laughs> something which i love yes mm, okay i hope to see some photos yeah, yeah. Uh, okay yeah also okay what are the what about the clubs and committees uh, uh, what kind of clubs and committees are there and uh, do you have to be is it a compulsory to be part of any clubs or committees or is it okay not to be a part of any and uh, yeah so and also uh, is there student exchange program so let's uh, okay uh karthik can you take the clubs and committees bit and bharat can you take the can you answer the student exchange and uh, ayushi please pitch in yeah and nupur as well yeah please yeah karthik clubs and committees so uh in, in the first term itself you uh, you will get the opportunity to join uh, all the clubs and committees at myka there are uh, plenty and uh, obviously the main, uh, the round, all these selection rounds happen together so there will be times where you have to literally juggle between which uh, between the processes of each couple of committees but yeah and by the end of first first term you know which committee you are joining and then all the relevant work starts from the uh, second term onwards so there are uh, culture, cultural committees there are many, many festival committees then there's a sports committee at myka then the, uh, then all the important ones like uh, the, the team interface which is the related to the public relations and then uh, alum committee then placement committee and student council as well so uh, there are may, may plenty of committees you you will get to join and if you don't want to join all these former big committees then there are uh, committees that lie along your interest like literature committee that there is studio 7 which is for music people who are interested in music and uh, stuff so yeah mm-hmm. the, you'll uh, find something or other that you like to do and you like to express yourself with and mm-hmm. yeah that's that's just which one video. are you part of which club uh, are you part of i i am not a part of any committee because oh. i chose to go the uh, free com which is uh, yeah okay which is basically room yeah okay yeah uh, nupur which which one are you part of which are the clubs and committees you are part of okay i am a part of tedx okay tedx mica yeah okay tedx okay uh, bharat so i am part of edc entrepreneurship development cell at mica mm. so we conduct activities to promote entrepreneurship at the campus yeah okay yeah and uh, is it is it very active at mica as in do they support a lot uh, your um, you know new ideas startup ideas and all that is there like a cell and all like a proper so uh, we conduct activities and uh, new session talks for speakers at mica uh, okay. this year we have a plan to start an incubation center also mm. at mica yes okay okay yeah uh, without which uh, clubs and committees you were part of yeah for both first and second year i was a part of my quest which is the quizzing committee obviously okay the quiz and thing. second year i was part of the senior calcom the cultural committee okay okay and ayushi you were part of which clubs and committee so in my first year i was in the student council and in my second year i decided not to pursue any committee as such i was just doing life projects and my own thing okay okay uh, let's talk about the faculty also so a lot of people say that okay uh, the good thing the, the one of the great things about mica is that you know you've got uh, people you know who are from the field who are actively working are uh, also there as your visiting faculty as well as your faculty members and all that any particular class or any particular faculty um, member who is your favorite yeah ayushi maybe you can start the nupur and then yeah Vedang will also agree with me on this, but mm. media has a lot of visiting faculty, mm. and we get like the best in class to come and teach us. So mm. recently, we had like the heads of marketing from Facebook come in. We have mm. the heads of Radio City come in and talk to us about radio, and it's just they really take care of who is exactly qualified to teach you what, and they will bring those people here. 
Mm. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah well done. Context yeah. about that. Mm. Uh, mm. These visiting faculties, uh, if you want to get their time, like even half an hour outside Maika, it would be like super tough. Like people don't get time, and they spend a whole day with you in the class. Mm. Like each word they say is worth that. It's weight in gold. Hmm. Okay. Uh, tell me. Uh, yeah. So, any any particular uh, favorite faculty member or class, Vedang? You had. Yeah. So, um, there's this person who is the head of um, media and entertainment at Ernst and Young called Ashish Fairwani. Mm. Like uh, he releases the Fiki report, EY Fiki report on media and entertainment every year. He's my absolute favorite. Mm. Um, yeah. He conducts his lectures in two days, but the guy has tremendous energy and enthusiasm and like hands down the best mm, okay yeah anupur any any favorite class or faculty uh yeah actually uh so i'll give you a prior context i didn't understand so i had finance in my uh, undergraduation as well i never enjoyed it but i came here and uh, there's a teacher <laughs> called taral pathak and uh the way he teaches, it's everything, uh, like, you know, boiled down to, like, he'll teach you from the basics. So, mm -hmm. Karthik, for example, Karthik is from the PCB, has never learned finance. I'm sure he loved to study the subject. And uh, drawing on what Ayushi and Vedang was saying, so, uh, I have a sports background and I've always, you know, wanted to interact with someone who is, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I've always wanted to interact with someone who is from the sports background. So, I saw... Just a couple of weeks back, there was Joy Bhattacharya on campus and uh, he's from the KKR franchisee. And uh, I ran from my running le lecture and I was like, no, no, I have to see this guy. He's, hmm. he's an amazing, amazing guy. And, you know, he will actually speak for you for uh, an hour. Uh, I, I, at least I uh, talked to him for an hour. Hmm. So the faculties, all the visiting faculties and amazing, amazing faculties. Yeah. Just to give mm. a context, I also yeah. met him at a pub quiz last week. So <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. right. You can uh, still carry okay. on. These guys, they'll remember you. Yeah, I remember talking to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Great. Okay. Uh, so now let's talk about, okay, let's take a few questions and then we will move to uh, internships and uh, we'll talk about placements and of course, you know, your experience and your tips. Yeah. Uh, not to be head over heels, but my is my dream college strictly because of the course curriculum being an artist and a creative marketer i am hesitant in joining a traditional mba from other colleges should i keep my eggs in other baskets as well in case if my car doesn't convert i don't want uh, to settle for less but at the same time not to take a risk I provide some candid perspective on this at all the panels so yeah uh who would like to answer maybe nupur you could answer bharat you can also answer please pitch in yeah uh yeah so obviously uh i can't agree with you because uh i even i wanted to pursue uh career marketing only so i remember mm -hmm. you know every update that used to come on my car or my cat i used to follow everything so mm -hmm. uh talking about settling for less or I think it depends on what stage you are in right now if you want to think that you can't so my card is two is still left and uh, you know the interview GEPI everything I hope it works in favor of you but mm -hmm. in case it doesn't I think uh, it depends on you actually that if you are ready to give in one more year or you are uh, you know mentally exhausted so I and I I personally think that, uh, you know, the conversion rate in MICA as per the GEPI, it is much more uh, better than the other colleges because uh, I think it it is uh, 1 is to 4. The conversion, uh, conversion ratio is 1 is to 4, whereas in the other colleges you have 1 is to 8 or 1 is to 7 or something. So, and uh, obviously the PI thing is also, you know, it's not where you will ask, uh, you know, all the academic questions. So, for me, mm. in my PI, I was not asked anything about academics. I was not asked anything. So, mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bharat, you want to add anything? Yes. So, yeah. for me, uh, it was that I converted NMIMS Mumbai, IMT, Ghaziabad and Maika. So, mm. then I choose Maika uh, because you can't uh, just focus on one college that you have to go to this college only. You have to keep options in your hand because if uh, luck does not work in your favor, then... Uh, if you are willing to go for a second year, if you are willing to take a gap year, then definitely you can uh, go with it. But for mm. me, it was like, I don't want to take a gap year. So yes, I choose Micah. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Karthik, can you answer this? As only 40 days are left for MyCat 2, what we can do in this period? So, uh, uh, I assume that you are well versed with the cat, uh, cat or yeah, syllabus. Or at cat least somewhat, here. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, I would say since 40 days are left, you, I would uh, ask you to, you know, go through past one year's current affairs and GK and anything brand related or company logos and company taglines. These things are usually asked. And then, uh, yeah, go through all the, uh, no, uh, you know, main subjects that is, uh, QA, uh, Q, uh, cons, BRC, and then a DIR and all. Uh, I would also recommend prepping at the highest level, like type two, type three questions usually come a lot. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the score I got in my cat was 9.5. And mm -hmm. I had, uh, I had prepared for my, uh, my cat was specifically for my cat for only two weeks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah, if you are not well versed with stories, then read a lot of stories, try to frame ideas. And if, if practicing it helps, uh, if practicing stories help, you can just go to any website with, which can help you generate random images and make a story out of it. Just right. getting a habit of uh, writing will help you with the stories. And the thing is, and please uh, don't use pen and paper because you do it on a, a laptop because mm. the, uh, it will be on a laptop or a PC. So yeah, and there's, uh, there's also a lot of importance with, to, uh, that you have to give for speed because you get around 24 minutes for that uh, descriptive writing part and apart from story there will be three other questions from what i recall from my exam at least mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. these things i would uh say okay. yeah and go through the psychometric well mm -hmm. be consistent with your answers yeah. okay Ayushi, there is a uh, yeah, yeah yeah so one more thing that i can add here is uh please choose your questions wisely so for me i even though verbal was a strong section for me i never uh, used to attempt the rcs because they had around eight options Hmm. So you just want to choose it wisely that if you're that good enough or you want to spend so much time because I, I think there's only one and a half hour for all the questions combined. Hmm. So it's a lot of risk uh, when you don't even understand the RCs and there are eight options if you're able to eliminate them all. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ayushi, there's a. Can you take this question for GE? What if other members of my group start jumping over conclusions, forcing their points, continuously seeking validation for the opinions? If I am not engaging in the forced conversations, will it be seen as a negative trait? This is extremely specific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am wondering if this has actually happened to them. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but the point is keep calm, uh, keep cool, and just put your point forward because they will let you speak. It's not like they won't let you speak. If you have a counterpoint, just say that hey, this is a different point of view that I want to consider, etc. etc. Just shanti. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, so now let's talk about uh, internships and placement. So Ayushi, if you can just take us through the internship process very quickly at MICA and, uh, and you know, moving to the final placements with which you are in between the middle of final placements, I believe. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that and then Vedang, you can uh, take us through your entire placement experience and then your job currently right now life uh, post mica yeah so ayushi yeah from internship to placement and then Veda. yeah so uh internship uh placement so i was placed at disney i was working in their merchandising department and it was a two month long project uh it was a great experience my summer internship placement process was also a good experience it's intensive with stuff you have to depend on your friends to get you through it mm. and people at mica are usually very collaborative so okay. it's not like you know they will kill you to get a placement mm. everyone will help you and you okay. will help everyone because that's mm. how it goes that is the culture here okay. and that is also a culture that they look out for mm. so that is really fostered through and I think finals Vedan can answer better than me right now. Yeah. Okay. So, so the internship process it starts like yeah. If you could just take us through the the calendar. Uh, when does it start? And then you know when the interviews are for internships, and then your internships, and then if you get a yeah. PPO, if you don't get a PPO, then what happens? Yeah. So usually, uh, at the end of first term, whenever that is, your uh, summer placements will start and the interviews will happen then only. 
uh, the actual internship will be uh, like after the end of first year, which is around April, May. Uh, sometimes spills over into June, depending mm. on where you are placed and depending on how long it is. Yeah, so I had a pretty similar uh, mm. summer internship experience. It, mm. The thing is, uh, for summer internships, you have to be open to all roles which come to campus. Like you can't be picky and choosy about roles during summer internships. Mm. Uh, there are roles in marketing. There are roles in B2B marketing, FMCG marketing. Uh, and in a lot of startups, uh, yeah. I got into B2B marketing at a management consulting firm. So yeah. I got to learn a lot about the B2B marketing, the non-fancy side of marketing that usually people tend to not like and uh, not look forward to because it's not as fancy on a CV or not uh, looks like does not like the management yeah. consulting and marketing. Yeah. What do they do? So, but the thing is, the it, it's important, and uh, I learned a lot uh, about it because it, that actually speaking, I also did not uh, know a lot about B two B marketing uh, mm. till then. Um, and somehow uh, coming to the final placements, it so happened that I got into B two B sales. Uh, so I now I know both ends of it. Like I have done B two B marketing, and I am doing sales for it. So I have a better chance to collaborate with the other teams and have a better impact for uh, my firm. So I skipped a step in between of final placements. Mm. Uh, saying that um, I had a media major. So okay. I did have a set expectation of what I want to do and uh, uh, where I want my career to go ahead. So in final placements, people do tend to be choosy about what roles to uh, apply for and uh, what line do they want to get into. Um, uh, being a media student, I always wanted to be in the sort of uh, media advertising or advertising sales roles. Uh, when I got an opportunity with a startup, I pounced upon that. And that's what I'm doing at Converse. Okay, so Converse and... is a, yeah. a startup. Okay. Yeah, Converse is a startup and I'm okay. looking after B2B enterprises, enterprise sales. So mm -hmm. I'm working with almost all of uh, the major FMCG players, FMCD players. Uh, in India okay. and what I can say is that I interact with Mykins who are in media roles who are in marketing roles almost every other day mm -hmm. uh, there has been no client of mine which does not have a Mykin in the marketing role so it okay. becomes a root uh, uh, if I may say so mm -hmm. it's a common point where we can discuss and uh, in sales like you have to be a smooth talker to mm -hmm. but tell me something uh, what about the placement so um, at mica yeah. um, if you can just talk a little bit if you can answer mm -hmm. this that is uh, for finance and all other uh, domain uh, yeah. is there enough firms coming for those uh, domains as well <laughs> yeah ayushi i think yeah, sure. uh, since mica is specifically yeah. for marketing you have mm -hmm. a lot of firms focused there yeah. So within the marketing domain, you'll have a lot of different options, right? You'll have okay. FMCG Digital coming in. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'll have IT roles coming in. All yeah. of it concentrated on marketing. So yeah. this is one of the uh, one of the senior okay. options is actually outside the mess. So <laughs> this is a very common site in, in the uh, morning. Okay, so. a lot of monkey business. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and this hmm. is this was actually during a f fest at my car called My Canvas. So okay. all the pathways are lit up very, very hmm. nicely. And it's really, it's just a really nice ambience. Hmm. And this is the cricket oh, ground. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the, the grass wasn't trimmed then. So hmm. I don't know if you can see there are two stumps here. And this is uh, uh, hmm. this is the hostel I stay at. And okay. it's right outside the hostel. And I'm, so I'm, the I'm hostel facility uh, is it like uh, the, so? This is the uh, guys hostel, or is it mixed hostel, or is it like the guy the uh, woman hostel is somewhere else? Uh, it's allotted on a, a random. Uh, it's randomly allocated actually, and okay. my, uh, the hostel I stay in is a gold hostel. Okay. So, so for yeah. the first years, there is a separate hmm. female hostel, a okay. separate male hostel as well, and there is okay. a gold one. And okay. senior hostels are usually quiet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, Karthik? No? Yeah. And this is, oh. uh, yeah. 
this yeah, outside nice. Chota, which is the <laughs> famous canteen of my god. Okay. And yeah. Mm. So there's a snowboard here at its peak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the badminton court. Oh, and nice. This is the only boys' hostel, and this is. Oh. Nupur, you uh, play badminton, yeah. right? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this yeah, is a lecture hall. Mm. So, yeah. So, this is just before a uh, class, actually. Okay. Any yeah, canteen think... photos? No? No? Food? Uh, canteen? Right. Oh, yeah. What kind of food is there? Is it like uh, only veg or there's also non veg? <laughs> I like um... to speak for that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so, you get uh, veg and non veg, both the food. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, Mike and Mess is, you know, the top most uh, ranked mess uh, in India. You, you get lovely food. You have all the cuisines, Mexican. Thai, everything you get there and okay. uh, there are some upsetting days where Chota, you know, you will find the whole 400 people at Chota mm -hmm. and they will actually have to request, please make good food or these guys are going to get a lot of uh, going to <laughs> lot about Chota, yeah. Mm. Okay. So yeah, uh, right this, this was like uh, a PGP 1 versus PGP 2 Frisbee match. Mm. Uh, yeah, Frisbee okay. is one of those things that uh, goes a long way at Maika. Hmm. Uh, and that's one of, I mean, uh, sports is one of the times that uh, we get to interact with seniors uh, in a non-formal way and it's really fun. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so this is our uh, okay. uh, hostel photo. Uh, I was uh -huh. in Palash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. this is the hostel behind? Yeah, all, okay. yeah the uh -huh. all boys hostel. It's a courtyard of hmm. the okay. hostel. Yeah, we had a stand-up night uh, hmm. organized. Uh, just a picture of that. Yeah, my friends, we won a lot of uh, prizes during the on location. So, okay. like, <laughs> yeah, this is the my this is my senior hostel, Chandni. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just not to show, mm. but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the iconic Audi picture. Mm. And it looks more beautiful when people are seated here. So this is our batch photo. Oh, yeah. Yes, Very nice. It is PGP 30. Uh, that's so, a large, uh, that's a good number. Of, yes. Uh, and good mix, actually. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. So, this is our hostel. Me, mm. Nupur, and Kartik are from Silver Oak. Okay. Silver yes. Oak. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, this is other hostels. Mm. So, these are pictures from Ahmedabad. Winter was a lot of winter. Yeah. Thoda chill yeah. karte hmm. This is nice. Yeah. This is my group. Okay. Okay. So gen generally we have ratio of male to female one is to one. Hmm. But yeah. my group ratio is less than Haryana, also gender diversity oh. ratio. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a picture from Navratri event. <laughs> yeah, I can see you no know, gender diversity. Yes. <laughs> Even on Navratri, we were all boys group. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, so, before we wrap up, uh, tips from all of you on, uh, okay, so maybe Ayushi and Vedang, uh, specific tips on GE and PI, what do you do? Because you cannot really prepare, prepare for it specifically because you don't know what is going to be. So, anything overall that they can prepare for when you know um personality wise or if they are not good at uh you know facing a group how what and all that so maybe ayushi and vedang you guys can take one tip each and uh karthik nupur and bharat uh please give uh tips on my cat too <laughs> what all they can do <laughs> okay yeah so uh start from ayushi then vedang then um karthik bharat nupur yeah so basically <clears throat> for the g i would suggest uh have your opinion put it forward in a very nice way be collaborative uh give opinion dusro ke opinion ko value do. Matlab, sirf okay. apna mat dekho. don't be pushy don't be loud or anything you will get a chance to showcase and they will be looking at all aspects of your personality it's not just that you are hurt so you will be threatened that's okay. you have to be collaborative uh other than that for the pi i would just say that know yourself well know what you've done know why you've done it 
no why marketing why mica why this is a fit for you okay. try to pitch it that way when they ask and just stay calm mm. yeah uh, vedan yeah so for the gi uh, straight uh, i mean say your points very clearly make sure those points are heard by the people who are uh, observing you and uh, while discussing in a group make it a point to showcase the final product don't lose out on time uh, for pi uh, write your form which is uh, there's a different form uh, like there are likes dislikes there is a sop is it like a sop or okay there's sop is a part of it it's oh, a quite it. descriptive form mm-hmm. yeah write that form w- with a few pointers which will be opening pointers for your interview mm-hmm. so all these tips will be shared by your mentors at ims i don't mm-hmm. think that would be a problem mm-hmm. but yeah somebody is watching yeah. this video let's watch yeah yeah okay yeah karthik one tip my uh yeah again like i've been saying so prepare uh, all the core subjects that you have to and fo- focus on gk as well because if you have a uh, focus uh, at even even what the past years uh, current affairs and just normal brand taglines and brand logos you can fetch in 2 3 marks easily and that can uh, be a big score booster so uh, uh, if i have to talk about my individual sectional scores i had scored around 2 2.5 in every uh the subject uh, so and but gk i couldn't maximize i, I think i had got 0.5 or something and uh, i got one right and two wrong i think okay. that that's what happened but mm-hmm. if i had uh, you know prepared more on more of gk then maybe i could have you know boosted my score so i would say don't just neglect gk but uh, obviously your most of your prep should be focused on the other three subjects any tip on uh, how to prepare for gk as an is there any uh, as an regularly keep reading something or i think the ims compare compendiums that mm-hmm. are given on uh, on the portal is good enough and okay, also there are quizzes good. as well and about mm-hmm. what i was talking about brand tagline and brand logos even uh, i think ims portal itself has a lot of content for that and additionally you can look up youtube for other uh, you know extra content okay yeah bharat so i would say uh, with ims materials for gk daily read economic times also because it will be helpful for your uh other gd and pi experience also uh and i will say practice more for descriptive section and try to practice on some old keyboards because you will not have laptop in descriptive section yet <laughs> yeah veda yes. you said it last time <laughs> yeah <Okay. laughs> yeah so mm-hmm. yes practice on something which is old old keyboard yes okay all right yeah great uh, thanks bharat yeah nupur uh yeah so i just as i mentioned uh, always play on your strengths so uh as i said uh, math was uh, really bad for us and uh, you know i think a lot of people just failed there that they couldn't recognize that there is there are some other sections as well so uh, i am i i was a part of ims vadodara and trizal sir used to tell me that if you find something tough uh, all the others are going to find it tough as well so yeah so please focus and uh, as i said please do not go for long questions uh, or uh, rcs if it is not your strength because eight options in uh, mycad is going to be really tough to eliminate and uh, grammar and all they are all basic questions so if you know you know if you don't know you don't know so start mm-hmm. with the smaller questions because uh, it's very tough for a person to you know uh, take up the whole paper there are a lot mm-hmm. of questions for one and a half hour so the trick is only to recognize which is the best question and what will suit you mm-hmm. and uh, yeah so that's it and uh, yeah yeah so i would like to thank all the attendees and all my special thanks to the speakers uh, thank you ayushi thank you nupur thank you karthik thank you bharat thank you vedan thank you so much for all the insights from my thank you so much for having us all the best with the part uh, all the best guys <laughs> thank you so much for having us best of luck